Right, this is a big toe extension drill. So our big toes are massively important. And if you've watched some of our other videos or you've seen us in person for foot pain, you probably know how important your big toe is. Um, sometimes what can happen if people get into some different movement patterns is that we can lose the ability to really extend through our big toe. So we start to lose the ability to have this happen, which sounds like a really small thing, but big toe extension is just massively important when it comes to moving well um, and helping to either get rid of foot pain or big toe pain or even pain up the chain um, or to like have some money in the bank um, as prevention um, for those things. Uh, so one of the ways that you can uh, work on this is to do a big toe slider extension drill. So essentially what's going to happen is we're going to practice having the foot slide backwards behind the hip and you're just going to make sure that you can still feel contact with the base of your big toe um, and you might feel a big stretch through the bottom of your foot as you're here but we're looking for the hip to be extended so behind your body the knee to be extended not like all the way as like absolutely like locked out as it can be but the knee should be relatively straight and the big toe should be straight as well and you can slide back if you have like a furniture slider, an exercise slider, or even like a uh, like paper plate, um, you can uh, sort of slide back even more smoothly. But essentially we're looking to help retrain um, a body that's lost some big toe extension, what it feels like to be able to like get the leg out behind them and to have hip, knee, and big toe all in extension um, so that eventually we can push off of that big toe and come uh, straight through versus rolling off the side of the big toe because we're lacking big toe extension because that's not the way that we've walked um, or for another reason maybe. Um, but essentially we're practicing sliding that big toe back, feeling that stretch, coming back, sliding that big toe back, feeling at the base of the big toe on the ground, feeling good stretch and coming back and we're just gently moving back and forth. And I really like to follow this one um, with some intentional walking. Um, so right after you do this big toe slider exercise, go ahead and walk and really feel your big toe and your foot um, getting back behind you as you're walking. And think about rolling through that big toe. So rolling through right here as you're moving versus letting your body roll off to the side, especially if that's been your pattern for a while.